Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I'm glad you're well from wherever you're watching this channel. Once again, I'd like to say thank you so much for supporting Yoleno TV throughout the year. I want us to delve deep into the happenings of Kawida Mwangaza's Senate verdict. What was so interesting is how Karen Nyamu attacked these proceedings and in her submission she mentioned something about uh, the female gender. And so our spouses should not, should not be victimized. Another thing, Governor Kawira, we have witnessed double standards when it comes to women leadership. I am a recent victim and we have to stand firm. We have to stand firm in our space with no apologies. And we are here to stay. Women leadership is here to stay. We will not be victimized anytime we do much less than the, our male counterparts are doing. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So it's that reason that I decided to bring this analysis. I didn't want to do it, but because of how Karen Yamu approached it is what got me so interested in bringing this analysis. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, we all know Karen Yamu is a youth president and she is the nominated senator under the UDA party. And recently, Karen Nyamu was involved in a scuffle in Dubai, and I think that is available in the public domain, where she had to go to, you know, she had to go to Dubai because uh, Samido and his wife had uh, gone there now because of, you know, this polygamy issue. So there was a lot of problems there. I think you by now know what happened, what transpired. And uh, you also understand that uh, Karen Nyamu was summoned by the UDA party for, for that misconduct. So in her submission, Karen Nyamu said that the female gender has been on attack and that Wakenya uh, or other leaders, the male leaders, were kwa sababu there will be more male, there will be more first gentlemen. A first gentleman according to what Karen Yamo said, is actually the husband to a woman governor. So she was uh, basically trying to say that male counterparts be prepared for lots of first gentlemen. But you know, there's something about this Kawira Mongaza first gentleman that is get cut, that, that, that caught my attention. I know Anwe Guru, as a first gentleman. But do we see these kind of things? We don't see. We know the Homa Bay County governor also has a first gentleman. But we're not seeing scaffold ensuing just the way we saw in Meru. So who is to blame for these issues of Meru? When Meru MCS decided to treat Kawira unfairly, I always knew that there was someone operating the county assembly from remote. Of course, I could term that as a virtual remote control that was being used on these MCAs. I don't think it's the mindset of the MCAs to behave the way they behaved. Because if you look at the impeachment motion and the votes which were cast in that motion, then it was it was 99% of the set of all the, of the MCAs, 99.8% of the MCAs voted for this impeachment. But you see, if you look at what the Senate verdict was as far as this impeachment is concerned, then they unanimously voted to, you know, to reject the MCS a move. That means to quash this impeachment. So that all already in uh, that already confirms that there is someone who is operating this county assembly. I said this in my first analysis when I was starting to do some uh, analysis on on Kawira Mongaza when I said that. I mentioned by accident, I mentioned Kreti Murungi as to having, having someone who is accused of this. And then there was a book that Kreti Murungi had written. And in this book, there was accusations against the, 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 the governor. 
again. I think that time the governor had not been a governor. He was still, she was still, I think, a uh, woman rep. Eh? So that time, again, there were some accusations from uh, Kirai to Murungi. So the bad blood between the two started a long time ago. But then who is responsible for what befell Kawira Mongaza? I still have my strong belief that it is this infighting that has been going on between the county governor now and the former county governor. Let's not go to the questions that were asked or answered because I believe that some of you have managed to catch a glimpse of what was transpiring during, during the committee's session. And you might have noted that DMK, the person who introduced that motion of impeachment, is actually the MCA who decided to do what Morocco defenders did to Mbappe. Do you remember that final that, that, that match, the semi-final match? Between uh, the between France and uh, and, uh, and and Morocco, Morocco defenders did something to Mbappe after receiving instructions from their coach not to allow Mbappe a chance to move with the ball. The idea was to make sure that Mbappe did not perform. So similarly, on this case, and how the MK appeared like a confused MCA, it was evident that someone was forcing him and all MCS to act that way. Kawira Mwangaza was supposed to underperform so that she can be impeached. You know, word of advice to these MCS, if the intention was to impeach the governor, then this was not well planned. If I was DMK, I would have allowed Kawira Mwangaza to run for at least one year. And probably... Because I'm intent on making sure that she's uh, impeached, we just make sure that she goes against the law. And then we have grounds for impeaching the governor. But the proceedings and whatever DMK said in that proceeding, it was evident that she was, it was evident that he was merely forcing these allegations on Kawira Mwagaza. Because there was a time he accused by Chu, that is the first gentleman, and expected that this allegations would be shouldered by Mwangaza. A thing that is not uh, the, the, the way the law uh, operates. You know, you're a husband with your spouse. That is, doesn't mean that if your husband who makes, if your husband, you as a husband makes a mistake, then your spouse is to be held responsible. That is what DMK and other MCS failed to, to notice. When they were leveling allegations, bad allegations on the, on the, on the governor, they never knew that everybody has Everybody has his or, her, his or her own representation as far as the constitution is concerned, and that if the ch charges level against you, it is you to be responsible. It is not your spouse to be responsible. That is what DMK never noticed. And I think this is one of the reasons why this case, Hiliangushwa, <laughs> how could you and Asemanini, how could you and Takanini, and he didn't have evidence about what uh, they wanted, and it only appeared that it was about the World Fund. But I believe going forward that uh, Mwangaza will handle this issue. If it's the issue of World Fund, Mwangaza will have to look at how to, you know, deal with the issue so that Meru and the res Meru residents do not find themselves again in this kind of crisis. Now, ladies and gentlemen, kindly share your opinions are below the comment section there. Once again, I'd like to urge you to stay safe and stay blessed until we catch up again in our next analysis.